Hello guys, Aris, Hardwood Busters. Today we have a power supply by Lian Li. It is the SP750. OEM, Heli Technology, Efficiency, Cybernetics Platinum and 80 plus Gold. Noise, Cybernetics Standard Plus, meaning 35 to 40 dBA. Yes, it is quite noisy. It is a fully modular PSU, compact dimensions because it follows the SFX form factor. Price, $140 and €130 Euros in the EU zone, so it is quite affordable. Warranty, 5 years. Power specifications, it has a single 12 volt rail and can deliver full power on this rail alone. On the minor rails, it can deliver up to 100 watts of power combined. On papers at least, because in reality, it can deliver way more. Cables and connectors. We have two EPS on one cable, 3PC Express on two cables, 8 SAT on two cables, and 4 4 pin Molex on one cable. The cables are of the proper length for an SFX PSU inside the small chassis, and there are enough connectors, including 2 EPS and 3PC Express ones, which is difficult to find into an SFX PSU. My only objection is that the two EPS connectors are on the same cable out of standard 80 AWG gauges instead of thicker ones. If these two EPS connectors are heavily utilized, they can damage the single connector on the PSU side of the gauges. As the modular panel has four 8-pin sockets for the EPS and PCI Express cables using a single EPS cable with two connectors makes for a spare unused 8-pin socket which doesn't make any sense at all. There are plenty of peripheral connectors and they are adequately far apart at 120mm for an SFX PSU. Finally, the peripheral cables are flat and black while the ATX, EPS and PCI Express cables are individually sleeved. There are no in-cable caps as well, which is good. Internal design and build quality. This is a new platform by Heli Technology or the first time I have come across it. The heatsinks are small on both the primary and secondary sides and both VRMs and the fan control circuit are installed on a daughter board to save space. Airflow will be good since no cables are disrupting it and the distance between parts is good as well, especially if we take into account the tiny dimensions of the main PCB. Haley used decent paths, the only exception is the Yate Loon fan. I'm not that fond of this brand when it comes to fans because they allow tooling to grow too old before replacing it, which results in high production tolerances with units produced with said tooling. Caps. There aren't many electrolytic caps since Haley mostly used polymer ones. The few electrolytic caps are of high quality since they are provided by Chemicon and belong to its good line. Performance. Let's start with load regulation. It is tight at 12 volt, decent at 5 volt, not so tight at 3.3 volt and loose at 5 VSB. Ripple suppression. It is good on all rails. You cannot install many filtering capacitors in this compact PSU, so do not expect the same ripple levels as with high-end ATX PSUs, especially to 12 volt. Trans response is good on all rails. Haley, the OEM, did a great job in this regard. Hold up time is far below 17 milliseconds threshold. The only good thing here is that the power K signal is accurate. Protection features. All rails have high OCP triggering points, but there is no need for this, especially for the minor rails. OPP is set high too. On the other hand, over temperature protection is reasonably configured. Finally, there is no inrush protection, so I measured high inrush currents with 230 volts input. EMI emissions. I found the product Achilles heel, or as we say in Greek, Achilles Pterna. 
Many spells go over the respective limit with both the average and peak EMI detectors. The EMI filtering stages need tuning to lower EMI emissions. Average efficiency. It is pretty high, close to several Platinum SFX models. 5VSB efficiency. The 5VSB rail's average efficiency is impressive. Average PF. The APFC converter needs tuning to increase its performance with 230 volts input. And average noise output. The fan speed profile needs to be more relaxed. With the current speed profile, the PSU should be avoided by users wanting to build a silent system. And overall performance, it is high, but it could be even higher with tighter load regulation on the minor rails. Still, the overall performance is quite high. Bottom line, this is the first SFX platform from Heli Technology I have seen and I'm impressed, I can say. With some changes, this platform has the potential to face off against Great Gold's excellent SFX design used by the Corsair SF Platinum and Gold models. For starters, I would suggest providing inner scanning protection which won't affect performance, but will increase production cost and also tune the EMI filter to lower EMI emissions. The hold-up time should be close to or above 17 milliseconds, but uh, the thing here is that there is no space to install large enough bulk capacitors in such small units with increased power output. So users should be willing to compromise in this regard. Even Corsair Stop SF750 Platinum cannot exceed 12 milliseconds hold up time. At 140 bucks in the US and a price close to 130 euros in the EU, the Lian Li SP750 is a very good choice. With some changes that wouldn't affect its price tag dramatically, the platform would offer increased usability and higher performance, forcing Great Gold to update its excellent SFX platform, which has for quite some time now been the performance king in my charts. I expect to see more by Heli Technology and kudos to Lian Li for cooperating with his capable OEM. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe and till the next video. Bye bye!